in addition to the review, we're also going to do a lesson that begins on page 105, <clears throat> applying the trigonometric ratios. So now we combine all three of the ratios. Uh, we'll begin with an example that you'll find on page 106. That's this one right here. Um, let me just sketch the triangle and we'll do all the work on the line paper. This is six centimeters. This is 10 centimeters. So we want to solve this triangle for an unknown side and two unknown angles. <clears throat> of course, we know this one is 90 degrees. Pardon my awesome sketching skills. So to find this side here, we can just use Pythagoras. Okay, we know the middle side and the short side. The long side is always the side opposite the right angle. A squared plus B squared equals C squared, where it's 6 squared plus 10 squared equals C squared. 36 is 6 squared. Add 10 squared is 100. That is 136. And I just need my calculator to find the square root of 136. Second x squared, 136, 11.66 or 11.7. Now I have three sides and I'm going to solve for an unknown angle. I'm going to solve for this angle here first. Okay. Now let's look at my known sides. I've got all three of them. So I'm going to use opposite over this one's this is the hypotenuse this is the opposite side this is the adjacent side hypotenuse is always the longest side <clears throat> then opposite the angle and beside the angle is adjacent i'm going to use tangent i'm going to use opposite over adjacent so i'm going to use 6 over 10 to solve for this angle tan inverse 6 over 10 30.96 or round it to 31 degrees because it's close enough. Now to solve for our third angle we can just use a method that's very familiar to us 180 minus 90 minus 31. Right? Fifty-nine degrees. So when you know your trigonometry when you know your Pythagoras, when you remember that a triangle is 180 degrees, you can very quickly use all of those strategies in combination to very efficiently solve any unknowns of any triangle. And with that, let's move along. Uh, there's another nice example on page 108 that we'll do. Cut the one that's right on top of 108, and we might just do two of them from 108. We might just do that. So, um, let's label that this one came from, this one came from page 106, shall we? And now we're going to do one from page 108. And again, we're just going to solve the entire triangle. Um, I'm going to draw it like this. They've got it sitting at an angle, but I'm going to make it like this. A right angle. Um, and we have one side length of 5 and another side length of 25 and a right angle. Well, our first job is easy, finding the third angle. Here in the corner, let's begin with that. 180 minus 90 minus 25. Very simple. We 
becomes a 65 degree angle up in the corner. Now we're looking at solving for this side and this side. So I'm going to solve for the middle side, which will then enable me, once I know what this side is, it will enable me to use Pythagoras to solve for the long side, right? So I'm going to solve for the middle. I know this angle and this. I know both of them. I'm going to use this angle up here. You could use this one, doesn't matter, but I'm going to use this one. 65 degrees. There's our unknown side. It's opposite, and the known side is adjacent. So opposite over adjacent. I'm using tangent. Tan. 65 degrees equals x over 5. 10.7. And so, finishing off, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 5 squared, a 10.7 squared equals c squared. 20, 5 times 5 is 25. 10.7 times 10.7 is 114.49. Add them all together. 139 11.8 there we've solved another one um Let's do one more example. There's another example on page 108, the one in the second column. Um, similar to this one, though, but uh, probably won't hurt to do it nevertheless. So this is still on page 108. We've got a short side of 9. And an angle down at the point of 39 degrees. So, 51, I'm going to do exactly, uh, well, nah, let's do it differently. Let's solve for the hypotenuse this time. So we want this side and the Entehobicht, the Mittliga side. Let's solve for the long side this time using trig. So um, we can use this angle here, the 39 degree angle. And we have a known side that's opposite, and this is the hypotenuse. So it's opposite over hypotenuse. We're using the sine ratio. Sine of 39 equals opposite is the known side, and the unknown side, of course, x. Now, remember what happens here when you get that? You have to, when it's set up like this, you don't multiply, you divide. sine or 9 divide by the sine of 39 just punch that into your calculator and you will find the hypotenuse is 14.3 
And now I can just finish off with Pythagoras, just like we did the previous question. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Uh, side a is 9. Side b is the unknown. And side c is 14.3 that we just found out. 81 add b squared equals... 14.3 squared, 204.49. That's, and then we sub, write 204.49, subtract. When you know the long side, you have to subtract, right? It's 123.49. Eleven point eleven. That's here. That's the middle zone. So again, with a variety of strategies in your toolbox, you can very efficiently solve multiple different right triangles. Uh, you're now ready for some homework. Two very short recordings this week. Um, I've been going pretty light with the recordings. I'm certainly hoping that some of you will do a better job catching up. Um, our problems are all going to come from page 111. So page 111, homework. So you have the review. For this week plus you have the exercises on page 111. We're going to do 4, 6, and 7. That's your homework. 4, 6, and 7. Let's talk about those. We're finding the unknown length of the side that they're indicating. So here it's this one, side M. Over down here it's side R. Uh, here it's side Z. And here it's side C. Um, let's have a look at this one. You have a known angle here of 37 degrees. There's your side. Uh, this is your hypotenuse, the long side opposite the right angle. So, and this side is not opposite, it's right beside your known angle. You're going to use cosine. Here you would go cosine 37m over 5.8, and you would multiply. So, we do another one. Here's your known side, unknown, and the angle. So, the hypotenuse is unknown this time. We want to solve the middle side. So it's a 52 degree angle. It's opposite of your known angle. And this side is adjacent. It's right beside. So it's tangent. Tangent or tan 52 x over 3.7. So again, it's a multiplying question. Um, number six, essentially, is... So for number four, you're only finding the one indicated side. Number six, you're doing it the way we did it today. You're solving for all the angles and all the sides with whatever methods are at your disposal. Like if you take this triangle here, of course, there's already a 90 and a 33. So just subtract from 180 to get that last angle. And then you can solve for either of the two sides using trig and finish off with Pythagoras. Very similar to the examples um, that we did. So just look back at those. And of course, uh, here we have a word problem where we're doing a ramp for a wheelchair. We want the length of the ramp. So that's this side of your triangle. And the horizontal distance the ramp will take up, that's the straight bottom. So you're wanting this side and this side. You can easily find the angle up here. Someone's already done this. Uh, 180 minus 4 minus 90 and you've got the angle then and you've got the known side 
then you can go ahead and solve for the short side, the flat side, and then just use Pythagoras to find your long side, your hypotenuse. Okay, um, that's going to be it for this week. I mean, this week is really intended uh, also as a catch-up week, so I don't want it to be too, too busy with math. Um, plus, there is no school on Wednesday, Remembrance Day. So these will be your recordings for this week. Uh, the review and also this lesson on working with the various trigonometric ratios and applying them to solve right triangles.